Hey, music fans out there, it's Josh, and we're composing live. It's episode 89, and we're almost getting there. It's almost uh, to that 100. Well, last week I got a request from Samuel Sheridan. I see Sam, you're here. Hello, hello. Uh, to re write some music in the vein of Thomas Bergerson, and particularly so he mentioned uh, the album Sun. So. Um, I'm much obliged to uh, take on the request and challenge myself to write in this style. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and try this. Um, also, I'm not sure if there's like double bleed going on with my uh, audio, so I, I do apologize if there's something happening. I, I'm seeing something on the screen, so I'm going to stop the music. Boom, just like that. And uh, let me know if there was a weird uh, music... Uh, thing happening there. I just realized that there might be like a feedback happening. So um, what I was saying is uh, we're going to be doing a Thomas Bergeson-esque track. Um, and really, it's uh, it's just something that's more epic, motivational, up uplifting even, um, with, you know, trailer elements in, in it as well. Um, so what I was saying before is uh, to get in the mood, I was listening to the Sun album, and I, I kind of made some notes. Um, I, I thought I'd share a few of those with you, and that way you kind of uh, have an idea of uh, what are some of the things we're going to go for today. So the first thing is over here on this bottom left-hand side, I put it's emotionally charged. Uh, a lot of the songs that you hear just like pull you in slowly where all of a sudden you hear... Um, you know, certain like pads or pianos that kind of draw you in hypnotically. Um, and then eventually it just sucks you right into the the abyss of, uh, you know, what is uh, Thomas Bergeson's magic <laughs> of, of just making it build and grow. And, and, uh, th and, and on top of that, uh, he does incorporate hybrid elements like synths, pulses, pads, not, not in all of his stuff, but... Uh, in particular with this album. So we'll do that. And then also the constant ostinatos. Uh, there's, you know, some kind of uh, like synth arpeggio or um, a string pad, or I mean a string ostinato going on. Um, something that will just keep um, the momentum of the piece going, even if the melody isn't as, you know, um, action-based or is not so... Uh, so jam pack with a lot of energy it, it, it would be these ostinatos that kind of keep that energy going and then uh the themes again i mentioned earlier they build and grow and grow and evolve so we're going to try to incorporate a theme of uh some something that will appear or inspired uh in my head as we do this i haven't really prepared anything yet so it'll be interesting and a lot of tracks have vocal elements i thought that was interesting too um, vocals, um, I think John Williams was uh, the one person that said that um, they're, the combination, there's, there's nothing more emotionally uh, strong than uh, the, the combination of vocals and, and uh, the orchest orchestral instruments or the orchestra. So I think that's really fascinating to uh, and maybe a, a, a clue as to why his pieces are so emotionally charged, and then the contrast between all those parts. So we'll, we'll incorporate that into what we'll be doing today. Um, with that being said, I also have some new synths that I acquired from uh, the Black Friday sale, so I'll try to get those going, as well as I also got the Spitfire Audio symphony series i i uh sucked it up got it and uh let's hear a little bit of that let's see let's see if i have um the strings i have the strings pulled up here and let's see if this sound goes through i spent some time to yeah, I, I spent some time to put this into my template um, along with, you know, the lemur stuff and getting that to sync up. So that, that was a lot of fun. Um, I also, the reason why I got this is because uh, not that it, um, it, it it's, sounds great. It's because a lot of the other people I work with also use Spitfire Audio stuff. So I decided, okay, um, let's... Let's kind of be more congruent in, in case I do m additional music writing, things like that. 
Um, and then there's the one other library that comes with it. It's called the Massey Library. This is also Spitfire Audio. Okay, well, that's not supposed to happen. There you go. All right. So the mass stuff is really good. They're just like combined uh, orchestral sounds. So these like full brass, full woodwinds. Let's listen to a little bit of that. Make sure I have like a pad or a long. Sounds great. And I've used this for certain movies like the quest for Tom Sawyer's gold. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I plan on using this into my template. The 2T is also really cool. Let's, let's kind of play around with that. And as I do this, I'll also just um, sort of sketch things out as we go. And this is just what, uh, oh, now this is the 2T, isn't it? Okay, yeah. I was going to say the woodwinds, but I hear other things now. So uh, we'll, we'll incorporate that as, as far as uh, sketching goes and getting some good ideas. Um, also, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. Any help goes a long way. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is... Let's do um, some ideas for a uh, theme and also to kind of get inspired. Let's put like a little bed of sound going. Um, <clears throat> the easiest way to do this is just put some uh, strings down. So I'm just going to do like a string pad here. And this one, let's do um, a... Consordino. Okay. I'm thinking maybe let's do a C note. So hold that. Okay. I think um, a minor uh, would be good. So, something along those lines. So, oh, we got a guest here, B Bernie Bernacrides. Hey, welcome. So, um, let's find a uh, more what, inspiring type of sound. Let's look at some pads I already have. I think um, one of these would be good. Okay, I'm just going to turn all these guys on. Great, great. And I'm thinking maybe one of these below, like the um, the cycles uh, might be good. Let's see if this is working, though. There we go. Just took a second. Now, this this can sound, like, scary, too, at this <laughs> in, in context. Okay, it's nice. It's a good sound. Let's see what else we have. Let's go higher. Okay, and then we ask. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is from um, Photosynthesis. If you guys are familiar with um, Audio Imperia. 
Okay, and then there's this last one. Then these are just sounds I've used in movies and things like that in the past. I like this one a lot. Um, this is from Outputs Rev. I kind of like this as a starting point. It's kind of neutral. Okay, let's put a, that on A for a second. And what I'll do is I'll just um, indefinitely hold that A. Okay, so then put that note there. And let's stretch it out to, let's say, here. That's about 16 measures. And then um, put down a loop. Let's also sort of uh, ease into it. Okay, all right, and I think that's all we have for parameters there. And then, um, anything else to layer that with? I'm, I'm kind of curious. So th there's something funky with this. Uh, th there's like probably two notes going when I'm pressing this down and it's like a, uh, like a minor third apart so it sounds more minor. Let's try this other sound here. Okay, let's try this one again. No, it's not... It's not really what I'm going for. Um, Kind of like more sci-fi. Okay, this one is is kind of more in that realm. Let's see if aftertouch does anything. It does. Okay, so I gotta put that down. All right, so um, let's try this. Let's bring this in as well, and we'll go an octave lower. Let's uh, play around with some other faders. should probably make this replace mode we'll go down all right so there's kind of the the first idea all right let's move this over here and then um, let's hear how that plays So, um, with the sound here, what would be good is to incorporate like a, a more mysterious section. So this would be kind of like the what we call like the 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 intro, the um, something that just really just grabs the attention, and so. In, in that sense, we can explore with a certain uh, amount of sounds before we actually like start composing. I, I like doing that just to kind of get inspired. So we, one way is um, I do have guitars loaded in here. And I, I'm kind of curious what it would sound like with like something like this. Uh, maybe not the best. There you go. Hey, Sam's back. Sam's to the party. Okay. Something like that. Um, we can we can try that on a different instrument too. Um, it's not really like that Sun album, but that that has a nice flavor to it. I'm thinking what else we can try. Um, let me actually load some pianos in. I think piano would be a little more appropriate uh, in in that same uh, ostinato pattern. So first is we got some una quarter stuff that would be interesting. Um, I really like this one too, this uh, memoir, warm felt. So I'm going to load in this, this, maybe this, and let's just li li listen to all, all, all of these sounds over here. Here we go. Let's turn these guys on. All right. 
So first we're gonna audition some pianos. It's nice. What's interesting about this one is you can hear real, a lot of that contact noise, which makes it sound more realistic. Um, one thing about this, though, I guess there is dynamics. Um, I just have to play that better. Here, uh, so that's that's a great sounding uh, piano. And then let's listen to some of the other ones. Oh, this has a lot of character. Cotton. That's interesting. I, I think maybe it's prepared a little bit with something like maybe the there's like a, a lot of front attack on that. Okay, let's look at this one. Let's try a different melody. This would be a, a nice intro type of thing, right? Let's listen to some other ones. Wow, my coordination. I guess I can't do that as well <laughs> as I thought. Okay, anyways. Some good sounds. Cool. That that one I really like. Um, more effect based. Okay. And there there's this one. I really like this one too. I think I have uh, some uh, keepers that I'll start with. So the first one would be this one. It's kind of a patty. Um, and then I really like this toy. And something like that as a starting point. And then after that, I might jump to either this one. So that basic or or the vintage that's cool um, or we can go back to the giant it's classic uh, they all sound really nice um, let's so let's prune these down just a bit 
And uh, Sam, thanks for letting me know there's some internet issues. Okay, hopefully it's working again. So we have this, this, probably don't need this. And yeah, so let, let's kind of prune that down now. Save up on some resources. Okay, so let's uh, press play and let's kind of mess around and noodle around a bit. Cool, cool, cool. Let's try again. These pads really uh, have a long release. Sorry. So this part, being able to um, change chords like within one bar is, is a little bit harder. So I'm not sure if that, that was a good choice, but I went for it. And um, we might want to change that. Let's see here. Like we can work uh, something with that. So now starting on bar three, let's put a marker and let's try some other dice. Well, I think we'll add uh, some strings and eventually let's just play around with sounds. Let's see. Let's change the chords. So let's go C. And let's go G. Like that. Let's try that again. Is that right? So we have A minor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let me play around with that. Okay, I'm gonna see, maybe go A minor. And then, let's do that. So A minor, F, G, C, okay, which is what I have here, A minor, Okay, let's see if I can. Um, let's write this in two so I don't forget. A minor, G, or is it F? It's F. And then G, and I think it's every two bars, and then C. So we'll move this over. Uh, move this over like that. 
Okay, there we go. Let's see what we can do with this. So maybe something different. Not maybe not that just yet. So let's see what we got going on here. We're going to have to probably change these chords around. Okay, so let's look at this chord. Everything else sounded okay. Is this one different yes so we need to change these guys around so that this is here and this one is here okay all right so this will be kind of a, a starting point. Um, Melody-wise, we don't really have a melody. Um, <laughs> Sam, I'm working on it. How do you plan on getting his signature huge sounds? Whew. Yeah, it's, a, it's a tall order. You know, it, it's building it slowly uh, one by one. There's a lot of elements uh, that we can start to add in to just um, you know, consciously build to a, a high point in the song. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of it would be uh, finding the right sounds. So we're going to spend a lot of time just finding the right sounds, uh, at least ones that are inspiring enough. Um, so in this case, I, what I'd like to do now is start to go a little bit on the synth side, and then we'll add some strings. So let's find some other uh, synth type sounds. and. I think I'll go with uh, arps and pulses to begin with. Um, and we might have to find some uh, custom ones too, but I'm just going to see what I have in my template first and go from there. Okay. Um, should I open up all of these? Might as well. Oops, and then like this. All right, and let's let's see what sounds we can come up with. So first off, um, let's start with the pulses, and kind of go from there. Pulses are nice. Uh, pulses are nice to to kind of keep the energy level going. But uh, some of these might 
be a little too like on the thriller side. <laughs> Oh, and actually, I also have uh, just some good old synth basses as well. Let's get those going as well. Okay. And then turn these guys on. I think one of his ways to achieve that is he makes up ideas throughout the composition. Matthew may adds them to create, uh, achieve complexity. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and, it, you know, it, it's uh, just like in any composition. That's kind of the process, I would say, is... Um, you know, you, you have some ideas that as you go, and um, the only spark of of an idea I would say for what I'm doing right now is just coming up with um, the the vibe and and the minor key. I'm gonna start in the A minor key, and then we're gonna just sort of create this this uh, landscape of sound, and then we can build off of that first. So. And, uh, you know, in, in terms of this motivational feeling, I, I'm going to just think of something that is, you know, maybe it's, it's just like a it's like a dark, uh, depressing sort of uh, world that we live in that all of a sudden, you know, you, 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 you see the light. And th that's what we're going to try to go for, at least. So let's look at some sounds uh, here, too, real quick. Um, let's see here. Did that not turn on? That one's not working for some reason. Okay, and there's that. So there's this one. I wonder if I can get that shorter. Okay. So I might st uh, stick with something like this or this one. Okay, so I think I'll do something like this. As uh, time goes on, um, and let's look at the pulses one more time. The closest thing would probably be this one. Okay, so let's look at um, how this would play for a second. Probably when it start here, but let's just see how this plays. Okay, so let's kind of stay down on this one. Okay, so let's move this over here. And also, um, I didn't really mess with the tempo as much. Um, I think 100 will be okay. We can we can uh, change that as time goes on. I might want to go slightly slower here. And um, let's think about that tempo thing as well. Okay, let's look at the ARPs now. Um, let's see. This is not turning on. Interesting. Let's try this one. Okay, sorry, let's move this one over here. And we undo that on the repeat. Okay, and I'm... Um so I think I'm gonna probably stick with, let's see here. I'm gonna probably stick with something like this down the road too. I 
And what I'll do also is let me look at um let me look at an instrument that I used in the past for I think last uh last time we did our live stream I used something that I really like. So I'm gonna actually pull that in as well. This was from the Synthwave, yeah. I don't know if you guys ever use this type of uh, importing where you actually take a track from a, an existing track or a project and then you can pull that instrument into yours. But uh, it's a fairly burly project file with 1,200 uh, tracks or so. All right, Sam, uh, what I meant was they play at the same time, especially at the climax where there is usually three to four ideas. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if uh, you uh, saw this part here, but um, I made some notes. You can you can kind of read that off uh, once uh, this is all loaded up. But yeah, I made some notes on what makes this style amazing, and I think what we'll do is uh, we'll try to incorporate some of those things, those ideas as well. So let's look at. Is it Operhausen, not the whoosh? It'll be under ARPS, I think. Yeah. Um, finding some good ARPS is actually not as easy as you would think. So, you know, with the ones that you do find, you really want to keep that uh, in mind. Just ha have it on lockdown when, whenever you need it. So this one I'll probably keep down the road. This one kind of has a uh, nice, like, uh, synthy sound to it, nice quality. And it, it seems pretty, oops, um, it seems pretty versatile. So let's go over here. Okay. I really like that sound. So what we'll do is uh, make sure that this is in the right routing. It looks like it is. Great. Okay, so I'm going to use the combination of these two guys, which is the Diva Auto Dance. I'm not sure if I'll really use any of these other ones. And this one doesn't even work, so I'll have to uh, look at that later. So I'm going to turn these ones off and disconnect. Let's look at some of these. So there's that. Oh no, this this one. And no. We might use something like that. So let's keep that one. And what's this one? I probably won't use that one. So then let's go ahead and turn these guys and uh, sh um, make them disappear from our template. So turn that off. I kind of like uh, I kind of like these two actually. So what I'll do is I'll save those as well and turn these guys off. Boom. Okay. So then we have. Uh, just the basis to sort of prune down. Well, I definitely want that. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll keep these three right here and get rid of the rest. So let's get rid of this guy. And as, as I'm doing this, I'm also saving on some RAM. So let's get rid of these, uh, except for this one and that. I think that those are the three that I'll keep. Uh, what about this one? Maybe that one too, uh, depending on how that goes. Okay, so let's come up with some other ideas now. So as this uh, is wavering, we have... Oops. We have this strings and then we also have this strings.
much, hey? All right. And uh, right here, Sam, I, I made some notes on some of the stuff I was listening to uh, uh, in the last few days. So those are my notes on that. That helps. Okay, and then... The the streak sounds um, on his album, too, are, are interesting. I, I know he... Uh, uses a lot of the east west stuff because that's uh, part of the company he's he's part of east west but i think um he might be using some live streams as well i'm not sure and let's see so let's go press play now oh i see okay Sorry, my pedal was uh, messing with this. part there you go okay so then let's see here let's uh try that another shot here oops wrong part this is it So there's one idea. Let's actually uh, sketch this a little bit more. Come up with a um, more of a theme that I can go off of.
Let's uh, see what I have here. There's some uh, certain themes that I'm going for. Oops. <laughs> My wrong key. Let me do that again. There we go. So let's see. Okay, so I'm um, starting to come up with a melody here. I'm gonna look at that middle part. So the first part, we need to change. Okay, yeah, now we're getting somewhere, so. <clears throat> We can use uh, two parts. Uh, th this first one we can keep. Still, still uh, on the fence of whether I should commit to this melody. Ending that, like resolving it down. And then. Anyway. 
anyways, so then some somewhere here, maybe we'll we'll do that, or we do this first, and then we add some other stuff like the what I just played uh, later. I'm uh I'm kind of I'm feeling stuff. I'm feeling stuff, which is good. Um, it's always good to feel inspired. So let let's try this. Um, I I kind of like the melody of that. We'll, we'll, we'll sort of tweak it as we go. But what we'll do is uh, I'm just going to move this over a bit and explore this other thing that I just did. So let's try um, maybe some changes here too. Um, let's try something a little bit different. Okay. And it's kind of quiet because this is quiet. So let's bring this up. Just curious how this sounds. Okay, all right, and then also this is part of this section. I'm just going to move it over for now, and um, I'm going to explore some other ideas here. Maybe maybe not with this one now that I'm hearing it more and more. Let's try Let's try some something a little bit um more radical. So let's try a, a motor. Okay. It would have to be this one. So let's move that over there or actually, you know what? Let's do a duplicate version and um why don't we mute this for now and let's try this here so let's go uh, okay okay and let's do that over here Let's make sure that, uh, yeah, let's go lower on that, so. do you know i actually learned um for any cubase lovers out there, there there's a new uh setting with this which is what the render uh the range tool excuse me and i'm gonna i'm gonna try to use that a little bit more in our workflow so see if that um does anything okay it does so copy and paste is helping and anyway, what's cool about the range tool is this seems to be the way to solve some of the issues I was dealing with with the ramp mode. That's um, when you like copy and paste notes over. So I, I think I'm gonna try that as we go. Okay, so. Okay, let's try this. And this, this might be a little bit more serious sounding in some ways, but once I add other things like the strings, let's try adding some feeling to that. Something like that, right? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll come up with variations of that too, real quick. Uh, 
Let's go. Do, let's add a one bar intro. So let's move this guy over here. Well, uh, not one bar, but two bars. And let's go ahead and extend this A a little bit. Okay, let's go a little quieter. Okay, and let, let's go to, this is my sketching streams. I love this, by the way, this uh, Symphobia. Um, it's velocity sensitive, so like I can actually play like you know like four n different notes with different volumes, and then and then I can just do that. It's great. Let's see. Let's try that. Oh, let's see here. Something's not right here. Good, good, good. So, so uh, uh, let's see. Something like that. So that's the idea. Um, what I'll do is I'm, I'm actually, I'm curious to hear how this would sound on some of these newer string libraries that I required. Um, let's see here and let me double check something. Inserts, weird. Oh no, it's working. Okay, let me try on um, this one specifically. Okay, so this is the first guy. I also have this B one. I'm going to turn this on real quick. All right, so there's your first one. And then we're going to um, just go just the baseline. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's just do this. I'm not sure why it makes that weird sound that it's doing. It sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Replace modes on. That's really weird. Let me, um, I think I know what it is. So I'm just going to restart from there, try it again. Oops. Uh, there you go. Excuse me, try again. Okay, on all this one. Just wondering if I should change that. Uh, 
Yeah, that's that. Uh, control D actually works okay. It does something weird there, so I'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. Okay, so then if I were to do that, then let's let's see how it sound if I went like this. Okay, and then we're gonna double that bass line. Hello. There's some duplicates, it looks like. Okay, so let's go C, D, and E. Oh. Did I do... Oh, this here. Okay. Great. So th this is where I might start to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm thinking doing a uh, ostinato instead as an idea. Let, let's try that approach just for a second. So um, what am I trying to do? Let's go to a short spiccato for a second. So um, before we do that, let's let's kind of fill this in with some chords. So what I'll do is I'm going to add some brass and and uh, do that, and maybe add that spiccato strings is what I'm thinking now. Okay, so this is a new library that I I acquired. I mentioned earlier. Um, this is from Spitfire as well. I'm just kind of experimenting with these sounds. Okay, so let's mess around with that a little bit more. Let's see. Flub some notes here and there. That's really interesting. Uh, this is like uh, the new Cubase thing that with when it records over, it sounds weird. There you go. Sounds fine. So that's 
um, something I need to think about for a second in terms of sound. Okay, let's let's try that for now. Let me uh, delete this and um, just uh, f shape this a little more. too much there at the end okay so let's see now if we're to do that um, I'm I'm thinking let me see if I can try a different variation of this So I'm thinking after a while, this kind of gets long in the tooth. What I'm going to do is maybe switch it up. So definitely something there and then Let's try it one more time. Yeah, um, there's a lot of different directions here, so I'm going to try something and uh, add a variation of this right around this bar at 11. So let's put a marker there. OK. 
Okay, and then uh, that's uh, G. And then This is kind of a, a E major at the end there. So. But instead of going to that E major, um, I kind of like going to this little substitute chord, B flat, and then but then uh, it kind of sounds a little too major at the end, so it's, I'm just I kind of like this like uh, not resolving sound that's happening. Uh, Sam, when when you text instead of talk, is, is that telling me to stop chatting? <laughs> oh no, you're good. I'm. I have to focus, so it's kind of hard to talk and uh, play it, um, create at the same time here. No worries. Um, and I've got Emperor of Cheese. Hello. So. I'm g I'm gonna commit to this, <clears throat> and and this will make things a little bit spread more and and, and more interesting. So, cause I don't want to just repeat and repeat and repeat. It'll get kind of boring. So we should move the chords around a little more, uh, which means I need to move these guys over. And this is just my other idea here. Um, so let's see. And uh, why not? Let's add the bass line in there as well, which is this. And we'll go. Breathe. Mm. And then we'll go to this B flat chord, which is pretty s sweet. And so we'll go to this and hold it, I guess, depending on what we do there. Um, and that's not, there you go. There's a B flat. And then we'll go to this A minor. And we'll, we'll do this kind of weird vamping on these chords. Let's see what happens. Um, Maybe on, on one of them it'll resolve actually to like a, I don't know, uh, not A major, but something different. But probably G. Um, let me try some other options. That's cool too. So like a uh, that's kind of cool too. Uh, th that's what it, that's like a D minor chord over an F. Anyways, um, okay. So let's go and write this down so that we we're on the same page. You have A minor, and uh, I don't think we'll have. Um, time to actually do a entire piece, but that's fine. I, I wasn't planning on to finish this today, so we'll do a, a series of this and probably continue back next week uh, once uh, I finish this session today. So we have A minor, and then we have um, 
g over b and then we have let's see and that's actually over here so i'm going to copy this it starts with the a minor and then we'll go here which is a d uh excuse me c major uh just c major and then you do that twice say um now it actually changed i'm going to copy this over though over here it goes to the d minor chord and then down to c and then it goes to n uh g i believe let's see yeah over b g over b that's probably important to add that in and then um and then there's this cool little B flat chord. And let's go to this guy, which is, I believe, A minor. And then we kind of reset on that. So, okay, let's go here now and change some of these ideas around with the baseline of the string and our Kronos uh, bass synth. And luckily they're both in red, which is nice. Let's see, what else? They're one or two octaves apart though. So it's kind of a stretch to C, let's do that. All right, so we have A, A minor, B, C. That's good, that's good. Okay. And then uh, after some repetition, we'll go here like that, B flat. Let's lengthen that B flat chord and then let's go to an A like that. Very nice. So then um, with that, I, I kind of hear other things. Oops, I'm on the wrong spot. Let's just maybe add a little more energy to this. Something like that. Let, let's try this other one. Oberhausen. What is that? And then, yeah, so, yeah, um, this, this kind of has to hold a little longer, huh? Right. That's a weird spot. Um, okay, anyways, what we'll, we'll deal with that la later. I think I can make this work. Let's try it. You know, I think I'm an octave lower. Sorry, let's try that again.
Right, so it's got to be twice as long at the end there. We'll hold. Uh, so that, that wasn't the best playing right there, but it kind of gives you an idea of uh, what I'm going for. Um, but, you know, what, with synths, <laughs> luckily I'm not playing this live, like, in a concert setting, but, yeah, it's with synths you can just quantize these, and it should, that sharp should work out really well. So then, um... You know, with the curves I have, that that should be okay. Okay, so then let's uh, we have synths adding some energy, but also these uh, strings. Before we do the spiccato strings, I, I know I've been saying that for a while. Uh, let, let's just change up the line here. Let's see. Okay, right here. Da, na, na. Let's add that and go higher. Um, this should be also with probably the other bass line, which is here. Okay. Good. We'll probably add a, a, a like a sub bass um, somewhere. Uh, underneath that too okay so we have that um i want to add some vo vocals as well there's a lot a lot that we can do uh let, let's let's just play around with other sounds real quick okay let, let's try this real quick and see oh sorry wrong note And for some reason, the solo is on. Let's try one more time. Maybe this will be more of an effect. I hate when that happens. That's so weird. It didn't do that with the step mode, but with this ramp mode, it, it kind of like goes crazy with the sound, and so it kind of does this weird wobbly thing. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure why that's up there. Let's see. <laughs> uh, how long has that picture been on there, Sam? <laughs> that is so weird. That's wacky. Um, so it's a weird shortcut key. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. My num. I think I know what I did. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I, uh, I I know exactly. I, I pressed a, a key that triggered it. Okay, so we have this idea here one more time. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Five to seven minutes. Okay, maybe not. So I'll see, maybe what I'll do here is just fade it out. Yeah, like that. Okay. All right, so let's see here. like um, maybe doing a two noter for this part and just see how that sounds so if I were to do per like a perfect fifth let's see an octave uh, 
not perfect fifth on this part, but here. Um, I'm just curious how that sounds. And then we could do that over here too. Yeah, and as soon as I stop recording, it'll sound fine. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe that, that happens with Logic as well. Okay, cool. And then uh, we'll fix that. Well, um, maybe on this part, let's see. Maybe we'll go here. We'll go up. And then we'll go to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I might want to delete this so it doesn't go wacky there. Oh, you know what? I am pressing the wrong faders. It should be these guys. Let's try again. Yeah, still, I'm still hearing the weird wobbly thing. Okay, cool. So this will be like one repeat of this entire phrase, which is 20 bars around there, um, give or take with the mi minus the uh, two bars in the beginning. Uh, so what, are those, like 18 bars? That sounds about right. So then, um, okay. So then we have uh, more momentum added uh, with the spiccato strings. I think it's time to add that in. Let's go and do that. So the question is, which strings should I put that in? Should I put that in this or these guys? Or should I put it in my Jaegers? And the reason why I have so many strings is uh, <laughs> not mainly just to be compatible with other composers when I work with them. <laughs> uh, but it, it gives me some options. Let's see. Let me fix this. I kind of like the Jaeger uh, strings for more of this like trailer epic sound because it really cuts through. Um, you know, the Pacific stuff is great too. Let's hear the Pacific. Sometimes I layer them together. Um, and then here is, uh, if you're curious, here is the other one, which is uh, Symphonic Strings Core. And this is what that sounds like. Is it on? Let's see. What maybe what I'll do is I'll audition three of these and see which one sounds the best. Although, oh, okay, I see. There you go. So there's that. Um, the other one so there's a lot of room sound on the first one this one is more upfront more modern sound and then this one here let's put the volume down a little bit it's kind of like in between them right um I mean, it actually, it's a bit warmer than the Spitfire stuff. Okay. So, uh, let me let me go with this uh, Jaeger one. And make sure that 
our reverb is plenty. Okay. Let's try it. I don't know where to start. Maybe here? Let's try that. Try that one more time. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it with my pedal and see if I can get, get that coordination going. That'll save some time. Let's just do uh, in sections. So let's get rid of that. Let's go over here. Uh, one bad note, maybe two bad notes somewhere. Da 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 da. All uh, right. And are these thirty-second notes or sixteenth? These are sixteenth notes. So um, with the latency, it does. I mean, sometimes they're like right on, as you can see. Maybe it's just my poor plane. So you got da da. Da, 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 da. So then you have this. Okay. All right, let, let's see how this sounds. Soloed. Okay, you can see that. I like drawing him in for the velocities. Maybe I can go slower on these, but that's what I usually do. Good, okay, and then I, I also did my pedaling, as you can see here, that's a little wonky. Let, let's try that again with the pedaling. Um, let's just erase that whole thing. Actually, I'm gonna use a fader instead. It's a little more accurate. Okay. Let's go a little quieter. Cool. Um, I'm debating if I should add a layer. Let's see if I can go like this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then let's go see. A, and then this would be what, um, a B, and this would be a C, or a C, yeah, C, and then this would go E. Doesn't have to always spell out the chords either. Um, I'll, I'll play around with that. So. That sounds great. Um, That's a little bit, uh, let's see. Like da 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 Yeah, anyway, 
anyways, th these are all just messing around a little bit. Um. Maybe a little bit of that. Okay. And on top of this, okay, let's hear this. So let's kind of, uh, let's grow that just a little more. So first, uh, hmm, try again. Okay, and then here I wanted to uh, do like an arpeggio pattern that goes in threes. Um, but I think if you do it in, just uh, push it slightly ahead like this, it'll do it in that order. So it'll go low to high. Um, and I, I kind of want to mess with this pattern here. So like, let's see. Something like that. So what that would entail would be something like this. Uh, one, one, two, ba, ba, ba. One and one and two and three and four and one and is that right? Let's see, is that too f too slow? Oh uh, yeah, so it'd be here instead. Ba da 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 da. -da. Maybe going higher. There you go. Yeah. Let's just see how that sounds. Yeah, so if I'm gonna do that there, I might wanna do that here too. Okay. Something like that. And then uh, it does grow. Hmm. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Maybe we'll go something like this. I think these can go up in general, so let's bring these guys up. Okay. We're just gonna level these a little more, call it good after that. Okay. All right. Um, okay, strings are in. We, we don't have any low strings. We just have kind of like mid, high strings at the moment. So um, it's getting there. Let's just uh, finish this little spot, this ending together. So we have, I'm just gonna t let that tail out. Okay. And 
Let's see. We'll add well, some some kind of trailer element, um, whether that be like a hit or some riser thing towards this little spot, this little break at 19. And then, let's see here. Same thing. Oh. All right. Yeah, getting used to this uh, curve is interesting. I, I like it. Saves a lot of time, I think, but it's also kind of tedious with the clicking. Like this, like I wanna make that grill a little more. And then uh, the, these uh, brass sounds just need a little bit of tweaking. So you know what? I'm going to re-record that and see what, what happens. So now we can add some low stuff. <coughs> Let's think about the low stuff in terms of synths and the uh, brass. So let's go. See, let's play around with this. Okay, I kind of like this. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's, it's like a nice fat sound. This is more pulsy. So I don't know. Uh, l let's play around with this for a second. We'll, we'll make it. Excuse me. We'll make it pretty subtle. Um, in terms of the volume, let's bring this down so that I have more wiggle room on the fader. I think uh, I'll just kind of sort of uh, sneak that in, so it's not it's not you don't hear it, but you can feel it. Okay, cool. So let's do a pulse on that part. And so we'll kind of uh, break it up a little bit. Let's try that one more time. Hey, it looks like Sam uh, is going to bed. All right, man. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Here we go.
maybe half notes. So then here, let's go like that. We'll do half notes on all those guys. Okay, now let's just quantize these. Okay, all right. Uh, still in terms of volume, maybe a tad down. Okay. This is coming along. There, there's a lot we could do here now. Um, percussion, there's no percussion yet, which you know, eventually we'll add. Um, what I'll do here is just tweak a few spots. So I'm not sure if this really matches. This it sounds great by itself, but once you hear it in context, it's kind of weird. Uh, it sounds a little too too busy. So, um, let's see. Maybe, maybe just even that much will make it easier to hear. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not more in the background now. What if I brought this one? up to C. Cool. All right. And then all this probably can go higher, actually. So... All right, <coughs> next. So this baseline, actually this one, I should say, this baseline, um, I'm, I'm thinking of doubling that with uh, lower strings with this spiffy Spitfire audio symphonic strings I have now. And let's see if the, the how that sounds with maybe some longs, um, perhaps on the pulsy part here, we can do like a short brushed sound. Let's see. Solo that. And well, actually, all of these need to go down an octave. Okay. Something like that. Let, let's see if that works in context. And okay, let's uh, bring up. Um, this doesn't really matter on Spitfire, uh, bringing up the velocities, but I'll just, just for uniformity. And let's do the faders now. Maybe uh, let's go a little higher. So there's that. Now, all these strings that were happening here drop out. So um, what we need to figure out is, uh, do we play more spiccato stuff, or do we uh, just c uh, um, join the brass here? I, I would say it, it'd be nice to add some contrasting sounds. So if we were to 
let's see if we were to add this on a separate track and start to maybe compensate with uh, the different voices. Let's see here. Okay, this is actually a different library. It's not the Spitfire anymore. We're doing Jaeger. Let's just hear how it sounds. Oh, it actually already has all this on. So, um, this should sound okay. What, what we probably can do though is go and up an octave instead. Um, Okay, now actually that actually makes me wonder what was here cuz oh yeah. So this is the cello part so to speak. So what we can do is uh let's mute that. Okay, so I was just thinking I could put this in here. Well, let's just do this. And just I just want to hear the sonic difference. Okay, let's put the volume back up though. Okay, that's better. As opposed to this one, this is probably louder actually. It's interesting. Um, is there a vibrato on this one? Let's see. Oh, there is. Okay, so let's make sure that we add some vibrato on both of these. I think uh, I'll have to just draw it in or map it in. Okay, let's just make sure that is uh, on the other side. Go here like this and I don't okay there's your, your uh, vibrato so vibrato is only available in Spitfire like where you can control it separately and Spitfire Audio uh, Jaeger has it and um, not, I'm not sure if Pacific has it the uh, Native Instruments one, that one has it too, which is cool. But anyways, um, I'm just I'm just hearing the differences. I'm kind of playing around. Anyways, <coughs> I, I think I might stick with the um, the Jaeger. I think I'll just do that. I mean, it has a nice smooth sound about it. Um, I'll just bring the volume up slightly. Okay. And we'll call it good for that. So there you go. And let's hear now the elements in play. Okay, cool. So I'm thinking it'd be nice to add one more thing and and kind of this as a contrasting note. Interesting. Um, why don't we exaggerate that slightly? And bring this up. So I'm kind of curious. Okay, 
else here by itself. What about an octave higher? Okay, cool. All right, so then the other idea was uh, adding some vocals, and this will kind of help introduce all the parts now. So um, p uh, piano would be cool too, uh, but anyways, I, I think what, what makes the uh, Thomas Burgess and stuff so, uh, so powerful is just adding uh, a, a layer of vocals. So let's do that now, shall we? We're gonna go to choir and um, I don't think we'll do a full-on choir yet. Um, what I'll do is there's this layer or this track that I have by, I think it's 8DO Audio. And um, it's, it's an older library, but it's simple and it's uh, really powerful. It gets right to the point. And let me show you what it sounds like. Although I'm having some issues with my recall settings. So uh, let's just make sure that this works. There we go. Okay, so. Anyways, so that's the idea. Now let's play around with some um, melody or mo motifs with this. Okay, let me see something. Something's a little funky though, it like cuts off. Weird, uh, let me see my template here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is my template in Vina Ensemble Pro. And I wanna look for its female solo. And uh, for some reason, it's not sustaining. So let's see. Interesting. Maybe it's always like that. Interesting. So it doesn't actually uh, keep going. Um, uh, was that always like that? I don't. I'm kind of uh, drawing a blank now. I'm gonna just hold it for a bit. Yeah, and it stops. Okay. It's a it's a great sounding library, by the way. Um, I used it for a movie once, and I was like, oh, this is like really nice. But I didn't realize it. It just stops. So that that could be a uh, a little bit of a downside. I also have this Meredith Solvet stuff, so let's use that as well. Um, I I think I'm pretty sure her stuff is more um, where it, uh, just sustains all the way. So let's try this one too. So there's that too. Um, I don't know. It, it's so weird. Uh, I thought it would sustain longer because um, that's going to be very limiting. Let's try the Jennifer first.
So it cuts off like you know in a weird spot. That's kind of a bummer. I, I'm not sure if it was always like that now. <laughs> Maybe it was. Okay, so then let's l listen to some other ideas. What about a mmm sound? And so with something like this, we need to really crank it up. So what I'll do is uh, let's just crank it up in, in the pre-gain for now. Let me try that uh, with some more reverb too. So... There's some reverb here, but I'll add um, just another instance of, let's say, a Valhalla room sound or a uh, gravity. I kind of like the gravity stuff. Uh, is it is it black? Uh, black hole, black hole. Excuse me, black hole. And um, let's try this one. Maybe not too much. Okay. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. Let's try it. That's nice. Um, let's try doing that again. So we're, we're gonna sort of dance around the um, the melody, which is something like that. So we'll um, break up the the rhythm a bit. Interesting. Let's see here. On this part. Let's try that again. Um, this time, let's get rid of the faders and just, uh, just restart that. Oh, you know what? Also, I kind of want to move this over h here instead. Here we go. Okay, a little too soft. Let's try again.
we'll see here. Let's see if maybe here we can bring up this volume a little more. Okay, maybe on here we'll do A uh, or O. Oh. I'm not in too in love with that melody, but it's a, it's a good starting point as as far as a, an idea goes. Um, so let's listen to that by itself and see if we can come up with any other ideas here. Hear that in context one more time. Let's try uh, some other ideas. Hmm, yeah. So. Yeah, it's a bit r uh, uh, abrasive. And this is where samples get kind of tedious to uh, work with, as you can see. I think I'll, I'll still go with that B. But maybe I'll go ah uh, before that. It's like that mm is so quiet compared to the ah, which is understandable. So, but it, it makes a transition hard. So I'm gonna bring this over there. Right now it's like kind of loud at the at the start. So then we kind of have to follow suit with that. Right with the volume, it's... Same thing here, kind of program this in. Okay, so what am I trying to do? I wanna go Lower here. Okay, and 
then here, this, these are all ums or os. What if do we don't have oos? Do we? <laughs> we don't have oos. Okay, so let's try this. Um, that A is is a bit high. I see. Then here, this is probably where I can go drop out. Um, yeah, and we'll figure that part out in, in terms of filling in that silence. But I think that that sounds better, getting more comfortable with the uh, the feel. I mean, I might come back and be like, "Oh, that was terrible," but. <laughs> So far, um, my ears are getting used to that, and, and hopefully that is the right uh, the right approach or right um, right path that we're on. So then, let's think about any other instrumentation that we might need. Uh, of course, full on choir is important. So let's just turn these guys on. Maybe even Oceana. Um, I actually have both of them. And I'm just going to turn those guys on as well. Uh, and uh, we should be good. Um, one that's really cool is this Silka. Um, let me play you that as well, uh, just as a reminder for myself as well. Let's see. For some reason, it's not recalling the right one. So let's make sure I have the right one here. Here's Silka. So this kind of would work well with the solo. So I'll, I'll keep a copy of one of those as well. And let's turn that all off or uh, hide those disabled tracks. Okay. All right. There's also um, some piano that we were deciding on from before. So um, one of these could work really well in the beginning. Okay, let's, let's just see. nice for like a movie uh, type score um, and this one has like a nice uh, a release effect type of thing it's kind of cool but let's let's play around with this one for a second too much maybe okay so maybe here we'll make it more obvious see all right 
let's uh, let's bring that up. Okay, so um, I think we have to keep it there. Actually, let's go to this part. That's a good effect, but the the t release time is so long. So then, let's keep it more simple. I'm starting to hear what I could do to make this a little bit um, different in the vocals. So maybe here when it changes, don't come in right away. I think we need to do two notes like this and go I actually uh, I mean for sample it it did smoothly connect out which uh, we'll keep okay so Okay, so <coughs> piano can do something here. I feel like um, it'd be a little me melancholy, but and you know I really like that, but I don't know if if we can keep that. Let's let, let's commit to it for a second. Like this simple uh, on the one a one and two and and let's try it. But then right there, should I go? Hmm. I guess I'll do that. Let's look at that. 
And it does have to be exactly on time. Maybe not, but let's do um, just a soft quantize on that. Let's bring that first note down. Okay, all right. That's interesting. Okay, let's try, um, well, let's keep that and let's try another one. can do that do 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 on this part Let's try a different piano though. Something that cuts through a little more. So maybe a little bit of dynamics in there. Let's, let's see. Try this one first. Okay, so let's see here. We're in triplets. Breaking that up a little bit. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's see here. Let's hear it from that spot by itself. Let's see if I can do a better job on that. Let's go duplicate version, or actually not duplicate. Let's do new version. We'll just call this, eh, whatever, version two. And you know, I'm kind of curious. What if we go an octave higher? And then maybe just mess around, uh, around with that one more. Solo, yeah, let's keep it solo. Did 
I don't know. I kind of like that da -da, uh, motif there. See if I can do a better job on that. Um, let's also save this one and do another new version. Let's try again. <laughs> uh, doing different notes. Surprise that. That's kind of hard to play. Reconnection is successful. Okay. Um, you know, it looks like my uh, something disconnected. But I can still see that I'm streaming, which is cool. <laughs> but my sound stopped working. So, you know what I need to do? This is kind of a sign, right? Um, let me... Uh, reconnect real quick which i need to just do over here all right and okay so let's do that real quick let me just get out here we'll reconnect uh there's just so much uh data going on and i was afraid of this but this is actually good because I, I i don't think i fully disconnected from here so let me know if you guys are still watching um, hit me up, give me a shout out, say, uh, you can hear me. Um, if anything else, let me disconnect. You can see what I'm doing to fix this, by the way. And then go back into this guy. It'll just take a few minutes. Uh, I just want to also thank all of you who are watching right now. I do appreciate the time and that uh, you guys do to, uh, just support my channel. Uh, any help matters uh whether that's just liking the videos watching of course sharing it with your friends and subscribing if you haven't already uh so uh it, nothing beats the flow of anything than the computer crashing or yeah uh, in this case even obs uh my screencasting not really connecting here so <laughs> i do apologize um yeah but th this this piece is coming along i'm having 
some inspirations with this piano part, but uh, it's a little bit complex for my ability, so I'm, I'm practicing a little longer than I probably uh, do for other things. But I just want to make it sound good, so hopefully all of this will will pay off in the end. Just give me like another minute. Once I see this D.I. Uh, Joey guitar, whatever, that's a sign that it's going to load in. All right, so uh, let's go back to this piano part. Um, this is version three, right? Okay, so I, was, uh, I probably did a decent job here, but then it cut off at the end. So here we go. Um, and then maybe what I'll do is um, let's go a little slower. I, and I, I can do this. Let's go a little slower and let's bring it down to like 80 for now. And uh, we'll bring it back up. And I'll also solo it to save on resources. And you know, it might be interesting to uh, do like a octave lower on that piano. But anyways, uh, let's just keep it simple. Also, I'm probably, that's what I was originally doing. Let's do that again. I'm rushing a little bit. A little bit slower. And then maybe we'll do this in chunks. And then here, uh, a, fl a B flat. And then yeah, rhythm-wise, we'll maybe chop it up. Hmm. I wonder how that would sound. Do that actually. And I even kind of messed up there, and then. Oh. Kind of like ending like that at the end. Ah, uh, let's see. Too many ideas. And then, uh... Oh, man, okay. Let's, let's do that. Huh. So maybe I should, ah. Uh. Man, 
makes sense to do that, but I'm like, I'm torn if I should go or that. Again. A little rush. Something like that. Oops. Let's try again. Almost there. I think I'm going to repeat this actually to this next section. So let's see. Um, hold on one second. What happened? There you go. That's what I wanted. So this part that goes dun 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 dun. We'll, we'll do a soft quantize. And then. Let's go ahead and put that into this next part. Okay. Let's hear how this sounds with this piano part and at full tempo. Right now it's at 100. We could probably change that too. I just kept it at 100 as a starting point. Um, should I do a soft quantize? Okay, and the saw quantize messed that up. <laughs> the a nice word for it. So you got da 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 da. Okay, and then this actually these notes on the bottom. Uh, yeah. So I had it real nice. Let's undo this real quick. See what happened. Okay, so I'm probably dragging. Or is am, am I still rushing? I think I'm rushing. Okay, so let's do uh, this. Let's copy that. Let's redo everything. Paste that there. Cool. And then um, this probably is rushing. And all of that messed up too. That's why you never want to quantize too much. Oh man. Yeah, I, I messed up the feel there. Okay, so let's see how this sounds here. What if you go ba da da? Something like that. Um, let's try again. Um, 
Okay, cool. And then just one last thing is right here. Thanks, Emperor and Cheese. Uh, majestic, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, is it motivational? That's debatable. <laughs> but, you know, in, in the grand scheme, uh, we'll, we'll try to keep it, like, uplifting and uh, motivational sounding, too. Yeah, um, so that's kind of the sound we're going for. Let's see. What One thing I, I was going to do here at the bottom was uh, just... Uh, double the octaves, right? And if we were to do that, um, I feel like we need to just bring up some of that bass on the piano. But then it's, you don't want to sacrifice the feel. Anyways, um, I think this would be pair nice with like a synth too. Down the road, I can maybe try that. But I think this will feel... Um, yeah, it, it really give a contrasting section there. Um, let's listen to this from top to bottom and see if there's anything else we can add for tonight. We'll do we'll add something there too. I'm not sure what, um, but I think that that'll be kind of a cool part uh, as a contrasting B section, maybe, um, or just a transition. Um, pr more likely a transitional part, but okay. So let's go back and do one more thing, and let's listen to what we can do with the brass. Okay, so I think what's missing here is uh, uh let's see, I can't, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure myself. So we definitely need to maybe pair that in a different voice so I can control the volume. Maybe too too much early. Maybe a lower. So this would pr probably be more in the horn trombone line. Um, let's see how this sounds. Something like that. Let me, uh, look at a horn or something more soloistic so we have uh this one isn't bad let's look at also this one let's look at this one this one and this one so let's turn these guys on 
does sound uncertain and like seeing something but feeling unsure about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, with the, you know, motivational, there's always doubt, right? You can't have motivation without doubt. It's kind of like you can't have life without death, that kind of thing. Got to have a little contrast. Let's see. try this too uh hate when this happens there's something funky with cubase here is this working now okay this is working so i'm gonna actually try the jaeger one first a bit too bright actually needs to sound warmer so let's try this one then and uh, this one too huh? so let's go to this any there you go that's better So, yeah, nice and light, nothing too much more than that. Okay, let's look at horns now. Um... This is East West, huh? I don't really use a lot of East West nowadays, but uh, it's working out here. So let's try another East West. And um, let's do. Uh, this is always happening. Okay, there we go. Then I can see it on my tablet. You gotta be kidding me. That did not record. Uh, usually you can uh, do a retrospective record, but that, okay, well, that's a bummer. Let's try recording that for real. Let's, uh, I'm going too high. Let's try that. a little crescendo there at the end um let's do the what do you call this uh, pedals to note length that way the sustain pedal goes away um let's do a quick quantize on the front end only okay sorry let's do that and then <clears throat> what i had in the trombone let's see I think what we could do there is uh, just double that. Well, 
actually, let's listen to both. Okay, we need to reattack that last note. Um, there's actually a bit of that, so let's make sure that we do that on both ends. Like so, and then with the trombone, I think um, I think about going down. Um, it might work. It'll just put that in there as well. Let's uh, bring the volume down so just slightly. Uh, piano sounds great. Um, maybe d uh, on the next stream we can double that with some synths to just give it a little bit of zing to it. And I think as far as anything else goes, um, uh, we could do a little percussion element and call it good for today. So, yeah, we got a good little section. That just just like one minute of music for how long? Almost three hours. So there you go. That that happens. Um, a good trailer track can take you know fifteen to twenty hours, uh, and that's like you know really dedicated hours. Uh, but uh, and sometimes more, right? So, anyways, let's go ahead and add some other things here. You know, we could do uh, like some bass drum hits. Um, let's see what we else. Uh, I don't know if we need snare per se. Um, well, let's start with one that I, I think we can do right away, which is just like a whoosh. By the way, this is from Fallout Music Group. Big shout out to Randon, Randon Purcell and the team. So th these are uh, just uh, wave files that you can drop in. Um, I like their whooshes. I like, I mean, they're all really good. They're boomers. I might add a boomer as well. That, that one's nice. And th this have this has like all the reverb on there. There's dry versions as well. Some of these are just maybe too drastic. <laughs> Some of them are kind of thin, so yeah, there's a there's a variety for everything. Um, man, I'm not sure which one I like the most. Okay, that one's kind of cool. Uh, we I think we can maybe put like a high pass filter on there to uh, thin it out slightly. But um, like let's see, or or just a little shelf like that. Something like that, and then put the volume down, of course. Um, let's do 
that either here, and let's bring this in so that we know where the, let's see, where the starting point is. There we go. So I like to move this sample start right there, put that in the beginning. That's kind of the idea. So it's um, clipping, or maybe that's just part of the thing, part of the sample. Uh, it has a, some like a almost a distorted character to it, right? So that's the idea. Something like that would be nice. Um, let's see if there's something a little more mellow. Interesting. Okay, let's try this short and clean one. So same idea. All right, we're just gonna go here, find the sample start where the climax is, put that in the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot the, the, I don't need to do clip gain, huh? So let's do that. Okay, let's. And then on top of that, maybe a boomer, um, and I, I'm just using just these waves as a shortcut, but um, that could bite me in the butt later. The only be reason being, if I change the tempo, this gets all wonky. So actually, let me um, find let me find a like a deep boom sound in my sample, and um, I'll just load it in. So let's do the SD one of these. Something like that. Um, and this might be more like Hans Zimmer than Thomas Bergeson, <laughs> but let's see. Right? Let's, let's get rid of the whoosh and just hear this. down just a little more okay something like that and we can maybe uh, we might as well just put it sort of in the beginning too um, although I, I kind of like the uh, just the, like the the vast landscape of it I'm not sure if the the bass drum distracts from that Let's keep that in for now, why not? And then let's see here. Um, I like supporting the Fallout Music Group, as you can tell. This is another uh, one of their libraries called the Hybrid Studio Tyco, I believe. And they have some good sounds uh, that I think works for something like this, so let's see. this sound. Okay, 
So I'm not really doing much. I'm just doing some quarter notes. But you know what? What if we added that like this instead? Like that. And just repeat it. Nah. It needs a little bit more. Let's see. Just a beating. And then it sounds a little bit thin here because we're, we're missing that uh, hit. So I'm not sure if I want, want to add another bass hit here. Let's just do a little transitional uh, symbol, maybe a symbol scrape even. Something like that, or let's see, what else do we have here? quiet but that's the sound right there let's bring up the volume okay that kind of uh, did a late release but it kind of works let's see okay and then um this is where uh, it's, it's hard to uh, put too m like the right amount of drums in something like this, especially before it gets bigger and bigger. So we don't want to. We just want to kind of hint at the drums for now. So it's so sparse. It's hard. Um, let's add timpani. See if we can do anything with timpani in this song, or if we should just drop out. But let's look at the timpani part, which would be here. Uh, just put it chopping up the rhythm slightly like that. Uh. Right, 
and then uh, I could probably do that here. And we'll figure that part out, but um, I, th I like that. So I don't know about the timpani there at, at that part, but um, maybe a drop out would be nice. Okay, so there's that, and then maybe a little roll. How about? Uh, let's see. Should we do D actually? Oh, interesting. Let's do a C dropout so they can hear the D. Um, I see. That's kind of weird. Let's see. Interesting. Okay, and then there's one other uh, drum I like using. This one's called the Tycho Performance. This one. Let's turn that guy on. And you can actually roll. So I'm gonna uh, double this rolling here. Uh, maybe I'll just copy and paste it so I know where it's at. Because they're like separate. Uh, they're, they're pretty far apart from each other. Okay, so right here. And then we want to go to like C3. Wherever that is. Uh, it's not C, it's a B, B3, no, B2, all right, and that's about right with the, the rolling, we don't need this one, okay, it might be too much. Right, just a little bit, um, Let's see how that sounds. Cool. And then, even with the, the timpani hits here, I'm wondering if I should double that with that cool little Tycho hit. So here, which means I need to bring these all to C3. All right, so that's uh, where we're at right now. Um, I think, uh, you know, one more idea I had was, uh, you know, this whooshy sound. Maybe the whoosh sound would work better on this. Uh, da -da 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 maybe right here, for, for instance. <laughs> It would have to be probably this longer one with a bigger tail. Let me just try that real quick. Is it here? Yeah, something like that. I'm, you know, there's something funky about this uh, 
sound. I'm not sure if there's uh like some kind of compressor on it. No, it's just baked in there. Yeah, there's there's something um very distorted about that and it's called deep and wide um that I'm not really too fond of. At least in this context, but that that's kind of an idea uh, for next time too. So I'll, I'll leave that there, but we'll probably replace that. Okay, so let's go ahead and play it from the beginning. Uh, I think I'm going to call it quits for today. It's uh, been about three hours and 15 minutes. All right, well, let's go and uh, look at it from the top. And I will also do this so you can see all the parts. Um, we've got strings, we've got choir, we've got uh, drums, we got timpani, um, some synth stuff, a lot of fun things. Here we go. Right, that's it. Hey, Doug. <laughs> I, I uh, didn't want to talk uh, while this was playing. So, hey, uh, this is an old friend, uh, a fellow Utah composer, Albedo Music. Well, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, as far as uh, the next stream, I'm going to continue this uh, probably next Thursday. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching all. Um, always a blast. And thanks to uh, Sam Sheridan, Samuel Sheridan, for the request on uh, this particular style of music. It's it's uh, something I want to get better at. And uh, this is a great challenge for me. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a re good rest of your night. And I will talk to you later.